Good morning. The stocks in focus. CS and HCL Technologies are planning to sack employees at their Finland offices as a part of the process to streamline their operations. While TCS is expected to sack 172 employees by August, HCL Tech is likely to lay off 140 employees. In a reprieve for holders of dual technology, telecom licenses such as Tata Teleservices and Reliance Communications, the Department of Telecommunications, had decided that license will not be scraped. Hindustan Unilever Limited has contested the observations made by Eureka Forbes on its water purifier brand Purit. The Odisha government has recommended to the Union Ministry of Commerce and Industry to extend form approval for Tata Steel's multi-product special economic zone at Gopalpur for one year. Canara Bank has launched the Aadhaar Samruddhi card, an Aadhaar-enabled debit card that enables cash withdrawal at ATMs and also micro-ATMs with business correspondent agents in the rural areas. Alstom Bharat Forge Power Limited, the joint venture between Francis Alstom and Bharat Forge, aims to start production of power equipment from its alternate site in Sanand, Gujarat by February 2015. Reliance Infrastructure is set to walk away from the operations of the capital's airport metro line on the back of persistent losses and low ridership on the route which reopened this January after six months of closure. Aurobindo Pharma said it has received tentative approval from the U.S. health regulator to manufacture and market efavirenz, lamivudine and tenofovir disaproxyl fumarate tablets used for treating a type of HIV infection. Sipla said that it expects completion of the 512 million U.S. dollars takeover of Sipla Medpro by middle of July and subsequent delisting of the South African firm from Johannesburg Stock Exchange following approval by the country's takeover regulation panel. That's all for today. Thank you.